Usually you want your laptop to stay as cool as possible to prolong its life, to keep it from <laughs> destroying your investment. But there is a new concept from Dragon Trenchevsky. Uh, let's take a look at a picture. This is a laptop you can fry a burger on. Okay, so it's odd to imagine such an idea where you can fry your steak on the laptop and it's that close to the screen and the grease is going everywhere and the heat is desirable in this electronic device for once. It is just a concept. I think, it, I, honestly, I think it's great. I mean, I, I joke around about like this being insane and it is, but on my show, we talk a lot about crazy new technology, like robots and outer space and mm -hmm. everything in between. And for me, even if this is kind of a one-off crazy idea that no one is ever going to make into a commercial product, something from it might get used in some future technology that could be cool. So I, I like sort of the ingenuity of this person seems very motivated and good for them for making something that I've never heard of before. One place computing technology hasn't really taken off, or home computing technology hasn't really taken off, is the kitchen. I mean, every now and then we'll see these devices like, this is the smart fridge, and this is the stove that also has Bluetooth for some reason. H how do you feel about that? Well, is, is there any future there in that area at all? Well, we've seen at uh, trade shows like CES and uh, IFA in Berlin, I mean, every year the home automation gets, the section gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Even the kitchen? You would be I mean, we have shocked. the nest and we have we do. lighting from, from, I think, the view. Yeah, we, we are, yeah, the, the Philips Hue, um, and there's other bulbs Hue, that are also really, really good. Um, but I think just in general, even the kitchen now, people are starting to find ways to sort of make it uh, a little bit smarter. There is a question of how do you, how do you make a refrigerator, like what can you even do with a refrigerator? How far can you go? And so, is it just something it doesn't even need, like a computer embedded right. in a kitchen device though? Right, and I think that's sort of the question, is like, uh, for a lot of, in a lot of ways, I get uh, a refrigerator that tells you, oh hey, this has gone bad, or, uh, you know, you've had these eggs in this drawer for two weeks and they're, you need to buy more, like you're out of eggs or whatever it is, I, okay, fine. Like, I would like something that says, pick the items you always want to have in your fridge, mm -hmm. like tell it to your app that's connected to your fridge or whatever. And then whenever it's gone, it sends you a little reminder. But wouldn't I just know that? Like that thing I love isn't there. Yeah, I mean, well, I like, I'm married, and so my husband likes to do this thing where he literally uses something and then just puts the empty box back, and so, which makes me crazy. I love him, but it makes me crazy. And so for me, it's like, I would love to know, like weight-wise, like to get a little ping that says, hey, you're out of cereal, or hey, you're out of this, or whatever. Hey, guess what your husband did again. Yeah, exactly, or if you have kids, I mean, uh, kids like to do that too, like they just take out stuff, and then all of a sudden you're like out of cereal, or you're out of, you know, different products, you're out of chips. I always like to have popcorn in the house, it's like, what if it's gone? Just the bag's just an empty bag. Personally, there. I don't feel a great need for that, but maybe that's just a personal thing. Uh, maybe I'm just lazy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just lazy. I don't know your life, Ashley. But right. how do you feel about home automation more in general, as as computing uh, becomes part of the thermostat and part of the lighting system and part I love of it. yeah? I, this is this is cool. I mean, to be able to tell your house, or even you know, it, hopefully with we have Android, we have Android Home, we have we have so many different things now. Um, even Apple is getting into home automation. I mean, all of these really large corporations are now really excited about home automation. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to, I guess, put a geofence on your house and be like, when I'm within five miles of my house, I want you to turn the lights on, turn the AC down to 75, and I want you to uh, turn on the TV or whatever it is that you want to do. And mm -hmm. like, I think that is really, really cool and I love the idea that in a few years we'll be able to sort of just talk to our home and be like, hey, like, this is what I need you to do when I am this distance away or when I leave, 
check that all the doors are locked. Like as soon as I pull out of the driveway, all of my home automatically locks dead You want bolts. NFC and all that stuff in there. Yeah, no, and not even <laughs> NFC. I just want to be able to push a button on my phone and like the house is secure. Like mm. that's, these are great things for me. So, cause I'm very forgetful about stuff clearly because I forget that the, my favorite things are in, not in the refrigerator anymore. But yeah, I, I really love this idea of being able to sort of have your house help you remember to lock up, remember to uh, turn on the AC and, and turn it down when you leave to be more efficient. I mean, and I like all these your things. your laptop should fry a steak. No, it what? should never fry a steak. Guys, you <laughs> toasted leg syndrome is already dangerous enough. It is not that dangerous, but seriously, I. Why would you ever want to heat up your laptop, any laptop, to the degree that you could cook a burger? Like, that seems horrible. I would never want to do that. And like you said, the grease factor, I mean, what is even happening? I don't uh, know. Yeah, I do agree that it is a bad idea in general to have that. What do you think of not only, well, not particularly the laptop you can fry a steak or a hamburger on, because come on, that's not a great idea, uh, but maybe more niche technology around the home or, or weird technology like this in general. It does make you explore different ideas, but do we necessarily want to buy or need that at all? And what do you want to buy for your home uh, technology-wise? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.